Hi guys, so I am Neil Roland Kimdoy and I will be teaching you how to use the Settings app. Settings app is a good app for teachers because it allows you and your student to have an interactivity. So, what are we going to do? First, I want you to open a new browser. And then type in settings.com. Click sign in and sign in using your Google. You have plenty of options if you have if you have LinkedIn or do you want to use your Facebook or you simply want to create an account on settings. So my option is I will be using my Google account. So I will click Google and then you will be redirected to your account. Okay, so click new meeting. And then start adding content. If you have a PowerPoint pres presentation that is prepared, you may upload it here. And be as rest assured that nothing will change on your PowerPoint or slide. Okay? So if you want to create a slide, click create a slide and start typing <coughs> the content of your slide. So for example, sample presentation. Click, you may choose the background. I will choose red. Create. And then you can start presenting your slide. Okay, what if you want to edit parts of your slide? Simply click edit here. Let's say for example, you want to change, change its font size. So just click here and then click H2 or this one or okay you want to put it in the middle simply click tab sorry tab or space okay then click save Okay. Then, add another content using add content. <clears throat> you want to add a YouTube video? Simply look, go to youtube.com. Let's click a random video, let's say for this one, and then copy the URL or the link, and then paste it here. The settings will embed your video on your presentation. Just click add, and then you have your slide with video presentation. Let's add another content. Let's say, for example, you want to create poll. So there are plenty of options for poll. We have thumbs up and thumbs down for two or binary choices. We have multiple choice. We have scale, rating from 1 to 5. We have ranking. We have text. And my favorite, my personal favorite is the word cloud. Wherein, you just need to write a question. How do you feel? Change the number of responses per participant. Change the background to white. 
display results and display responses counter. So if the student try to respond during your presentation, their words will appear here. The bigger the word is, the more participant choose or use that word. Let's go to present. So if you want your student to view your presentation, just click present and copy your link. Let's try to open it in an incognito tab. So if the student click or copy that link, they will see your screen. So since we are still not airing it, they will it will look like this. But when we start presenting, look at the screen. It will automatically connect with your student. So how do you feel? Um, good. And then it will display their responses. Okay, so that's it for a sh short or quick tutorial of how to use the Seekings app. See you next time. Yeah,